Okay, so as it turns out, thankfully I am wrong about only being able to add signals uh, one at a time and having to know the type of the signal you want to import in advance. Because as it turns out, I just have a uh, uh, copy here from uh, the I.O. tutorial. As it turns out, the SIMD instruction XMOV which is uh, used for uh, vectors, in other words, whole uh, rows of stuff can uh, be used to move things uh, not so much into the do the uh, registers, but into memory. So what I'm going to do here is I have the green input wire, which is going to be considered a uh, vector. You know, it can be like 256 abominations long. And uh, what you can do is you just say X move into M1 or any of the other four, uh, other three registers, because you have four total. And uh, use either the gr green for the green input wire or red for the red input wire, which I'm not doing here right now. Is this thing on drugs? Oh, wait, there we go. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so. I clear, okay, just going to clear that out again. So when you execute M MOV M1 green, it just takes everything from the green wire and puts it into your memory. So now you can uh, screw around with it and iterate. And you might be thinking, okay, well, what's the big deal between working with the green input wire versus a memory buffer? Uh, the biggest thing is that now this is ordered. The order does not change. The order is not uh, uh, variable or whatever as opposed to when it's on the wire. And it's also not dynamic because it's frozen in place unless you mess around with it internally. So just wanted to put that little snippet out there and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more stuff. Hope I don't get more things wrong. But uh, yeah, thanks.